Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, hello everyone. Hello kids. So today we will going to discuss about the visibility rules. So for this, we have our competency uses the visibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of numbers. Before going further, let's try to answer the following. So 10 divided by 2. What is your answer? Yes, very good. Correct, it's 5. So how about 60 divided by 5? What is your answer? Again? Okay, very good, it's 12. 60 divided by 5 is equals to 12. How about 100 divided by 10? What is your answer? Okay, very good. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So what do you mean by divisibility? Divisibility means that a number goes evenly with no remainder into a number. When we say divisible by, it is when you divide one number by another number and the result is a whole number. Wala siyang remainder, wala siyang butal. Exactly whole number ang sakot. Okay, answer the following questions with yes or no. Write your answer in your notebook. Okay? Is 238 divisible by 2? Divisible ba by 2 ang 238? Number 2 is 660 divisible by 5. Number 3 is 530 divisible by 10. Write your answer in your notebook. Is 250 divisible by 5? And number 5 is 110 divisible by 10. Okay, now, malalaman nyo ang sagot ninyo kung tama ba o mali. Kapag natapos natin ang divisibility rules mamaya. Okay? We will going to check your answer after our discussion. Divisibility rules tells whether a number is exactly divisible by other numbers. This rule is a shortcut way to decide whether it is exactly divisible without doing division computation. So, itong divisibility rule ay isang way, isang strategy na kung saan malalaman mo ang isang number ay exactly divisible nang hindi ginagamit ang division computation. Okay. Divisibility rule. Divisible by 2. Example, 456. Tingnan nyo ang number ng 456. If the number ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, it is divisible by 2. Ang example na 456 ay nag-e-end sa 6. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. Another example, 178. Ang last number ng 178 is 8. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. Another example, 26, 78, 206. Ayan. 
So, divisibility rule, divisible by 5. Example for this is 205. Let's see kung bakit iyan ang example. If the number ends with 5 and 0, it is divisible by 5. Example, 750. Nag-e-end po siya ng 0. Nag-e-end ang 750 sa 0. So, therefore, it is divisible by 5. Kasi ang sabi, kapag nag-e-end ang numbers sa 5 at 0, divisible by 5 siya. Another example, 350, 555, and 868. Okay, very good. Nakuha niyo po. Ayan. Okay. Divisibility rule, divisible by 10. Example, 880. If the number ends with 0 and 10, it is divisible by 10. Example of this, 780. Ang 780 ay nag-e-end sa 0. Therefore, it is divisible by 10. Now, let's see this one. 210. Ang 210 ay nag-e-end siya sa 10. Therefore, it is divisible by 10. 150, it ends with 0. Therefore, it is divisible by 10. How about 300? 300 ends with 0. Therefore, it is divisible by 10. Okay? So, again, if the number ends with 0 and 10, it is divisible by 10. Okay, another activity. Copy the given table in your notebook. Put a check under each column to identify whether each number is divisible by 2, 5, or 10. Write your answer on your notebook. So, lalagyan nyo lang ang check sa bawat column na kung saan. Ito ay divisible. Divisible ba siya by 2, by 5, or by 10? Number 1, 548. Number 2, 912. Number 168. Okay. So, divisibility rules tells whether a number is exactly divisible by other numbers. Always remember, divisible by 2 if the number ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. And divisible by 5 if the number ends with 0 and 5. And lastly, divisible by 10 if the number ends with 0 and 10. Okay, class, always remember that. Now, Select appropriate numbers divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Write your answer on your notebook. All you need to do is to select the appropriate numbers, which is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Okay, always remember the divisibility rules 
word number two, five, and ten. Okay, class, thank you for listening. That's all for today. God bless kids and have a nice day.